When a goat is a happy one, it means this happiness usually spills over to the farmer. But as a farmer, how do you know that your goat is unhappy? A happy goat is usually one that plays a lot, it poops a lot, it eats frequently when the feeds are availed to it. It drinks lots and lots of water. But some of you have complained that your goats don't drink water. Have you ever wondered why? Yet water is crucial in a goat's survival because without water, a goat will not easily digest all the feeds it has eaten. So why don't your goats drink water? Have you ever wondered why? My name is Grace Woji from Woji Farms. I encourage you to click the subscription button and also don't forget to hit the bell to notify you wherever we have a new video loaded. Remember our topic for today is why don't your gods drink water? Contaminated water. Put yourself in this aspect. Would you drink water that you consider to be contaminated? What do, you, what do I mean by contamination? Contamination happens always at the farm, usually knowingly or unknowingly. Sometimes we are not aware. For example, you have your water source where you get from drinking water. It's just a few meters away. But at the same time, you have built your crush where you spray from the goats. Are you aware that this acaricide you're spraying with the goats usually spills over in that water? And because that water is contaminated, the goats will definitely not drink it. Usually, when some of us spray some of these uh, harmful like uh, pesticides, herbicides on our farms, they lead to contamination of our water. Definitely, your goats will not drink that water. It will be smelling awful or it will not give them the encouragement or the morale to go and drink it for that day. Uh, when your drinkers uh, are equally very low, and maybe the kids jump in and they put uh, droppings there, or even the mature goats uh, drop in. That. Usually, when we are getting drinkers for our goats, most of the time we put our drinkers a little bit lower, and this gives a chance for the kids to jump in, or even the older goats to jump into that water, and they put their droppings there, the urine and the dung. Basically, that water is already contaminated. So... Goats are wise actually. They will definitely know that this water is not drinkable and they will ignore it. Uh, two, water that has overstayed in a container or water that has stagnated somewhere for a period of time. That water will not be, will not be drunk by your goats. That water oozes danger to the goats because this stagnated water usually smells badly and usually it is a hub for worms. So why would you let your goats feed to that water which has worms well knowing that it's not good for them? It will push the goats away. They will definitely will not drink that water. Our number three is uh, availability of water. How accessible is the water source from where your goats sleep? Usually if the goats have trek a long journey, they're just like human beings. If a shop is very far away, nobody will walk kilometers to that shop to go and buy something from there. Do you have readily available clean water for them to drink? And how accessible is it from your farm to where they are fetching it from? Remember, drinking water is a routine for the goats. This is something they should do daily irrespective of what. So cover the distance. If the distance is so long, your goats will definitely not get there to drink the water that even the people herding the goats they will fail to take the goats there concurrently to drink water every day in your goat pen as a as a farmer ensure that water is readily available any day any day and ensure that the water you put in a day before is usually powered and then you put in fresh clean water on a daily basis. Remember, every time this water overstays in a, a drinker, goats will not drink it because they find it smelly. Uh, when you are considering why your goats are not drinking water, have you also considered this, that during the rainy season, our goats don't drink a lot of water because they are readily getting the water 
in the feeds they are getting in the fields. What do I mean by this? The feeds in the rainy season are laden with lots and lots of moisture. Basically, you may find your goat is eating 50% or drinking 50% water from the feeds it's feeding and the other 50 are the feeds. So usually in the rainy season, the goats don't like to drink water. That shouldn't worry you, but also it should not stop you from providing water for your goats. Let those who want to drink it have it at their disposal. And those that don't want it, let them be because they are readily getting it from the feeds on the farm that are laden with lots and lots of moisture. One other point as to why your goats may not be drinking enough or they may not be drinking water at all is because of the high competition on the drinkers. How many drinkers should, uh, should be in every goat pen? How many drinkers do you have in your goat pen? It is just common sense. If you see your goats are struggling to drink water, they are fighting, they don't have enough space for each goat to drink. Just know your drinkers are not enough. Improvise. There are quite a number of uh, tools you can use to make your simple, simple drinkers at the farm. Please provide those drinkers. Provide enough drinkers. But also key to, impo to note that uh, the colors matter. The colors of the drinkers matter. Actually, it has, been, uh, it has been researched on that certain colors attract animals towards food, attract animals towards water. For example, if you put your water in a red, in a red container or a yellow container, definitely your ghost will want to know what is in there. They will definitely come. So look for those colorful, colorful uh, containers to put your water in so that the goats can be able to drink it. And also remember, just like in a nursery school, where kids are attracted to multiple colors, shouting colors, the same applies to our livestock. Provide those shouting colors for them to be able to entice them to drink that water. Majority of us have uh, blue containers on our farms where we provide this water because they are readily available, especially the drums we cut into halves. But I've been advised by one uh, big farmer that actually blue attracts sesame flies. Remember, sesame flies are big pests. They may lead to a few infections in your goats. So if you are having blue containers, it is the time to change. I, for one, am also going to change those containers. Would you want sesame flies to bite your goats? No. So abstain or simply do away with blue colors for your drinkers on the farm. At the same time, red attracts the goats because it's a, a color for sex. It attracts them in that aspect. So which colors are you going to go for? This is up to you to choose from. One other aspect you have to look at on your farm, provide enough salt, enough salt on your farm. Basically, when you provide enough salt in form of mineral blocks, there is rock salt. Every time they have a leak of that salt, they will become thirsty. Thirsty pushes them to drink water. Do that for your goats and you will enjoy goat farming. We have been discussing why your goats don't drink water. Just like human beings, your goats need water. Readily avail it to them. Stop complaining that your goats are not drinking water. Your goats want that water, but you are not doing, it the, right, you are not doing the right thing to provide that water in the surface means possible. This is all I had for you today. I'm still Grace Boji from Boji Farms. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to ring that bell to notify you when we have a new video loading. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.